Hi, welcome back to third video of chapter 4. Hope all of you are in a good health. Today I am going to explain about some of the disadvantages of internet. Cyber crimes, spams, pornography, never being able to disconnect. Previous class I explained about the advantages of the internet. Now let us discuss one by one cyber crime. What is a cyber crime? Cyber crime refers to all the activities done with the criminal intent in cyberspace in the world of internet. Because of the anonymous nature of internet, miscreants engage in variety of criminal activities. We simply say it is uh, internet is available 24 into 7. So you can connect, you can connect anytime and uh, so is available 24 into 7 we can say okay. and uh, because of the anonymous nature of the internet these kids engage in variety of criminal activities you know, and hackers used to uh, send you the spams Hackers try to hack your computer or different types of activities. So hacking accounts and stealing personal information is known as identity theft. Now we'll discuss in more the different types of uh, hackers in this chapter. So the field of cyber crime is just emerging and new forms of criminal activities in cyberspace are coming to forefront with each person. Because you know when you see there are various measures we can avoid the suspicious website, you know, and uh, even you see your site, you see the message, your website has been hacked. Different types of spam messages you get in your inbox. We'll discuss in more in the depth this chapter. So now another one is the cyber crime. Uh, another one is the spam. So what is the spam? Spams are unwanted emails that are sent constantly to various mailing lists, individuals and groups. When you open your email, log in with your email, and you see the various emails in your spam folder, your mail. So the unnecessary emails, for the purpose, the, for the advertisement, it is use the system resources and slow it down. So it can also be compared to an unwanted collect cost to your telephone calls. Obviously, you also get the message it is from your bank, you cannot do this. Uh, agency like uh, you know insurance sector you get the various unwanted call you know? so these are the spams all these are next one is the pornography it is a potential threat on the internet so many pornographic sites can be easily accessed this indirectly affect the mental health of when you open the internet, you can one side you can see the advantages, other hand you can see the bad contents on the internet. So it misleads the, you know, it should indirectly affect the mental health. And uh, such type of content, you can see the various uh, sites. You know, various sites when you 
open your website you know, and you can also get the bad contents on the on the internet right and it directly affect the mental health of the users we must avoid such type of website must ban that must uh, ban that particular species websites oh, no. next one is the never being able to disconnect so all of you are habituated with the internet and even you get the message on your whatsapp it distracts you when you are working on some you know, when you get a message when you phone calls you know. so you are just going to pick up your phone you know uh, spams different types of calls you get messages so you can see uh, for example you are studying and your phone calls to indicate the message has been received you know so you get distracted and pick up the phone and look at the messages so this takes you away from your studies and into a virtual world so also this is the its advantages of the you being able to disconnect uh virtual world next one is the health issue and obesity we will discuss health issue and obesity when you are working on the continuous work continuously on your computer it also affect of your mental health and uh, for example when you work continuously typing work you know and uh, working on the computer it got a lot of repetitive movement of your fingers and hand that can lead to the cts car per tunnel syndrome so for example moving your hand from your keyboard to mouse and typing all all are repetitive work so it is advisable just advise it is advised to just take a break when you are after 50 minutes 40 minutes take a break for a while and uh, also take uh, exercise you must exercise and uh, that is why it is advised to take uh, frequent breaks maintaining a proper postures while working on the computer and doing physical exercise can help prevent the delay these injuries cts okay. next one is the buying things not needed So you can see the it's uh, hardly takes a few seconds to order your product. You know, so with the advent of online shopping site, shopping has become so easy. You just log in with your account, Flipkart, Amazon, wherever. Search the product and. you can simply add to your cart and order that for particular order so many times we buy things without thinking if we need them right and also for some people buying items on the internet can become so addictive that it can cause serious death don't think this is useful this is you know when you are just shopping the internet also you see that particular product it attracts you and that way you just going to you know if you think this is so you must make sure this is useful if you already have this item and uh, if this is a trend you see the oh, this is a new trend and you are just going to purchase that particular thing so you must avoid uh buying things not needed and uh, hope this clear to you i explain thanks for watching the video